In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream directly from the Mevo core to something like YouTube, Facebook, or any other platform. Again, we're going to be using this camera directly coming from the camera and we're using the Mevo app, which is a free application that comes with the camera to be able to control it. Now, if you want to use multiple camera, you're going to go with the Mevo multi cam application because that one is going to allow you to control multiple cameras. This one is free and it can control one camera at a time so let's not take much time let's get into it what's going on guys my name is sam you're watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so the first thing you need to do if you don't have the mevo app you're gonna go to google play or go to app store and actually download the application and again it's called the mevo it's just mevo so once you have the application ready and downloaded all you need to do is gonna go ahead and launch it once you launch it make sure your camera is connected on the same network as your cell phone or the tablet tablet or ipad that's running the application now if this is the first time or you are maybe let's say if you are in a remote area where there's no access to wi-fi you want to be using probably your phone's cellular network and the camera's wi-fi to be able to go live so to do that as you can see because i'm connected on the same wi-fi as the camera the application has already detected the camera so now all i have to do is just to go make sure i just hit connect the mevo and i'm gonna launch the application however if you were in a place where you didn't have access to wi-fi the first thing you're gonna see here you're gonna see the option to go to cellular data which is stream via cellular data okay so technically it's gonna allow you to use your cellular data and it's gonna allow you to connect to the camera using the camera's wi-fi that's an option as well but again because i have wi-fi i don't need to go that route but the process should be exactly the same so i'm gonna go back as you can see the camera is detected and i'm gonna hit connect once i'm inside the application this is what's gonna happen okay as you can see you have different controls again i have a different video that i made showing you step by step how to make sure the image looks really good how to focus and everything but if you go here the first thing because of course you need to be in focus this is where all the magic happens you can go to this focus button as you can see if i play with the slider here I can make sure everything is actually in and out of focus so you can focus manually you can control the aperture zoom peaking and everything again so many cool settings here to play with for me for the focus we're gonna go ahead and actually fix my focus so what you need to do the best way to actually be in focus is just to tap anywhere let's say you want to be focusing on your face make sure you frame your face kind of zoomed in a little bit and then what you need to do is look into the camera lens and double tap and it should actually focus on your eyes because the purpose really if you're trying to focus on yourself is to make sure your eyes are in focus and right now i can see my eyes in focus and what i need to do i can tap to this double arrow and it's going to go back to the original framing so now i should be in focus no problem so the next thing that we need to do now we need to go live make sure the exposure you can leave it on auto again i have another video that i made i'm gonna link it right here so you guys can actually check it out where i show you all the settings to make sure your image actually looks really really good so we're gonna go to these three dots here and as you can see this is where you have all the settings if i go to settings here see it shows you the network and everything you can go to live streaming now for live streaming you want to make sure you have a microphone connected to the camera or you need to choose if you want to use just the built-in microphone because that works as well so that's something they have to figure out before you go live because people need to hear your audio if you have an interface you can use you know something like a 3.5 mm jack connect directly into the camera and go to your interface depending on the type of interface that you have if you're using an actual microphone like a short one and you can mount it directly on the top of your camera and connect in here and be able to go live that's possible as well but before we get to audio on signature you don't need to do anything here but here it says define custom resolution and beat rate so you need to go here and toggle this because this is important you need to decide how much beat rate you want to send now for the purpose of this video we're going to be streaming to youtube so i'm going to go ahead and actually choose 1080p and i'm going to choose 6 megabits per second if you're streaming over wi-fi i usually youtube can take up to around 10 megabits per second if you're streaming in 1080p now if you have usually 
your upload speed is around 20 you should be good if you're streaming over wi-fi usually you, you want to do the max because wi-fi keeps going up and down or if you're streaming over something like a your cellular network so i'll say between six and eight is the happy medium so i'll say let's say for today we're gonna try eight okay again between six and eight should be good if you're streaming on facebook you can go and actually use a six between six and four should be perfect youtube you should try between six and eight depending on your upload speed so let's go ahead and actually keep that like that and then we can go to audio and video frame rate you want to make sure it's actually at 30 frames per second hdmi out you don't have to change anything here and then you can go to use internal mics if you're using the internal built-in microphones of the camera you can actually go ahead and keep that on however for for us we want to use external microphones you can just toggle this turn it off and keep it that way so the next thing we need to do we need to go to mixer here this is very very important you need to make sure output is actually on this is what people are going to hear if it's off that means you're not sending any audio to your stream and make sure audio mixer everything here is on and then for mivo aux this is this little jack this port here so for the microphone you want to make sure if you click to it you can see you have options to choose either one these are the levels so personally i want to make sure it's actually in zero not below not above because if you do above you're risking clipping if you do below then you're kind of risking not having enough audio so make sure it's a zero and then line in level you want to make sure you actually toggle if you're using an actual microphone connected directly to the camera you want to make sure you toggle mic level now if you're not using a microphone if you're using an interface uh, something like the roadcaster duo or any other interface they say if i was using this microphone connecting to my roadcaster duo and then this something like this cable connected from the roadcaster duo then i will actually go ahead and choose line line level which is stereo this is a very very important if you you don't choose the right audio input you may get either something super super low or something that's too loud or kind of clipping so important to make sure you toggle the right microphone that you're using that's pretty much it now once you're done this is if you're using an external microphone by the way so once you're done your audio is looking good your image is looking good the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and actual live so I can go ahead and actually hide this menu button and I'm going to go to this red button here. And what I need to do, again, you can actually still choose here. This is for recording and going live. That's why you have 4K. I don't think you can go live in 4K, but if you want to record to SD card, you can actually toggle 4K and you're going to be able to choose the SD card inside your camera. Right now, I don't have an SD card available, so that's not an option. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 1080p and we're going to be going live to YouTube. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a new channel and then hit continue. And then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and click to the email account or Gmail account is associated to your YouTube channel. So what you need to do is just follow all the prompts and everything and make sure you sign in and connect to YouTube account that you want to live stream to. So once you sign it, usually the best way to do this is to go ahead and schedule a live stream inside your YouTube studio before you go live. So what you would do, you would do it from home, schedule a live stream. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and actually schedule a live stream right now. It has detected one, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually schedule another one. Once you log in, Mivo app is gonna detect that event and actually gonna be able to connect to that event. Another way is to create a new event within using the Mivo, you can go ahead and create an event hit the plus sign title i can call it mivo live and then i'm not gonna go live publicly so i'm gonna just say unlisted but in your case you can actually make it public and i'm gonna schedule it for in like 10 minutes from now and then hit save and i'm gonna hit go live so if i go back in my youtube studio here as you can see we go to manage here you can see the stream is there now so if i click to it so you need to go here where it says live in you just want to make sure you go to the app and click publish as you can see now 
we are live now i'm getting the feed and we are streaming of course it's unlisted and if i click this button right here get the link and then i'm gonna go here and paste it as you can see i'm live even the audio is there no problem this is how it works guys now you can go back and optimize and everything here and add your thumbnail and everything but this is not what i recommend so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and actually end the stream so you can go to the application application and it shows your battery it shows the bit rate six megabits per second here and everything so i can hit as you can see it says slide to stop so i can slide it's gonna ask you if you want to end the event on youtube yes i say complete the event and hit done and the stream should end and as you can see the stream has ended now the next way that i'm gonna show you guys before we end this video is actually the best way which is we're gonna go ahead and schedule a stream back in youtube so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new stream here and i'm gonna call it mevo core testing so basically we schedule it and then we're gonna detect it from the application and then i'm gonna go ahead and description i can leave it the way it is with all my links and everything and then the good thing here is because we are going to add a thumbnail this is just a random thumbnail let's go and add the thumbnail you can add it to a playlist and everything and then you can even monetize it say monetization on add your mid row and everything next all the good stuff now we're gonna make it unlisted for now but you know in your case you would make it public now the event is scheduled so now we're gonna do we're gonna go to the application everything 1080p we're gonna go to youtube as you can see now we have the event available for us so this is the key you want to make sure you schedule the event ahead of time especially if you want to be outdoors you don't have access to your computer and just go and when you get there you're just gonna open your application and you're gonna be able to see the event already scheduled so what you need to do now i can go ahead and actually choose that event that we have scheduled on the application what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and hit go live so it's called mevo live i'm gonna go ahead and actually hit go live so now we're gonna go back to the desktop it's gonna do a backup recording usually that's why it says on the phone to share your stream live tap here to share so now it says pass due so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and hit that little icon in the corner and as you can see actually now we should be getting the signal back youtube so as you can see i already have the signal in youtube now there's one thing that you have to do is when you schedule events you have to enable auto start and auto stop the reason why is if you don't enable auto start mivo is gonna send the stream to youtube but until you hit the go live button it's not gonna be able to go live when you schedule it is a good time to make sure you actually toggle this enable auto start and auto stop that way as soon as you hit go live on the application it's gonna go live automatically so i won't have to hit this go live button but for now because i forgot to do it please forgive me i'm gonna go ahead and actually start the stream in youtube so as you can see we are live no problem and if i take the link i can just hit the link here copy the link and post it into our browser and boom as you can see we have some ads playing but we are live no problem we got the thumbnail everything the way it was scheduled it's gonna look good people can discover you no problem once you're done now because we have auto stop already selected here we can go ahead and stop the live stream in the application so i can go here tap in the corner and i can go ahead and slide to stop and it's gonna ask me if i want to complete the event usually one where if you don't complete the event it's gonna kind of pause it and then whenever you want to go live again you're gonna continue on the same event if you want to complete the event you just toggle that thing complete the event and hit done and it should end the stream on youtube as well as you can see here the stream is ended because again remember we hit auto stop we forgot to hit auto start but next time if you do it remember because that's the key you don't have access to the computer somewhere in the woods so you want to make sure you have that auto stop and auto start selected once you're done of course you're gonna leave and you are good to go so guys this is how you go live using the mevo app and simply going directly from one camera with your phone 
to live stream to youtube you can record you can also go live to facebook however this is an amazing camera that logitech has made with a lot of features including srt including ndi and it has interchangeable lens which means i can use any lens that i want depending on the use case scenario that's why you need to actually master know which lens is perfect for this camera depending on the scenarios if you're doing sports probably gonna need a different lens if you're doing something like a podcast it's gonna be probably a different lens if you're using it for youtube videos like this one it's gonna be probably a different lens that's actually ideal for that situation that's why i've actually put together a video showing you my best recommended lens for the mi vocal camera depending on the use case scenarios i have so many lenses here and in my next video i'm gonna show you guys which one is the best lens for your use case scenario so make sure you check it out and i will see you there guys take care